This is the Hokai. Hokai has been designed under a very clear philosophy. First, it's a protected vehicle. It has to protect the people inside and protect them from any attack, which could be a mine or an, an IED, improvised explosive device. Secondly, this vehicle has a very strong payload and it can bring a lot of material inside, generate a lot of power also to support the units on ground. And thirdly, very high mobility. It can be very quick on any kind of field, road, uh, anywhere in the world. Um, and this vehicle is now under production. Uh, we have started the production of more than 1,000 units for the Australian forces, and it is ready for export. We can adapt it to any kind of need, any forces, put inside any electronics, any equipment, weapon or whatever would be required by the force. It is fully adaptable with a lot of power and well adapted to any kind of operations. This is a tactical vehicle. It can bring up to five people inside and we adapt the various configurations of the vehicle depending on the needs of the forces. The vehicle you see just here is the one we, we used in Poland to make a demonstration for Australian forces. And we are in the process of competition uh, where this vehicle can be selected by the Polish forces. And it just comes back from Poland. For instance, in Poland, it will be used for a liaison for artillery units. As, as an example, uh, this vehicle has been designed with a very steep angle of attack and it has a winch. So it is absolutely designed to support forces in any kind of field and to be very useful in any situation. Concerning tires, uh, they are supported by a central inflation system which can be used even when the vehicle is moving. So providing a high level of support and mobility in any condition. In terms of protection, uh, this vehicle has been designed with a central bubble to protect the, 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 the people inside, uh, a kind of hull which will support uh, the aggression, the blast uh, or, or the explosion. And moreover, uh, to improve the protection, uh, we can add uh, um, shields, uh, protective, protective shields, which can be put around the vehicle in only 20 minutes. If we, if we have a look inside the vehicle, you can see, for instance, that the chairs are, are suspended. And, and, and this is a way to reduce the level of shock in, in case of attack and to protect the people. And there are a lot of similar tricks in the conception, in the design of the vehicle, to protect the people inside. As you can see, we, we, have, we have a lot of volume of space available here to have the soldiers inside. And we can have a lot of various equipments. The vehicle is highly adaptable to any needs. And for instance, here on this configuration, you have our monitoring system of the vehicle, which provides a lot of information to the driver, which are, for instance, uh, the power available or the inflation of the tires.